hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to show you how you can manipulate and format numbers using this numeral.js library it's going to be very very simple let's get started so this is the library as you can see here a javascript library for formatting and manipulating numbers let's say you have a, an application or program when the user hits 1000 subscribers or followers you don't want to show those zeros then instead you want to put a K. If they reach a million, you want to put an M, right? That's what you can use this numeral.js library for. But it doesn't handle also only that. It also handles, let's say, percentages. You want to work with time, currencies. So anything that you can find on this page, you will be able to use this library to get around it. And it's what I'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial. So I'm going to show you how you can convert the 1000 to 1K, 1 million to 1M, right? I'm not going to show you everything, but you can come to the page, look through what you want to use this library for, and you'll be good to go because everything is the same. It's just that the format method is the one that you pass in different options. So depending on your desire or what you want, to be able to use this library now in my markup i just have index.html script.js and style.css just to have this look what you're seeing here only that so styling style.css is the one having all these styles and for the index it's the markup that you're seeing for us we are just going to use the console for this purpose so and cross out this index.html and remain with the script.js file right so what you're going to do here they show you the different ways you can use this library first you can download the zip file if you want to download the files on your machine but for the case of this tutorial i'm just going to use the online cdn so the content delivery network link i'm going to copy this Go to my index.html and paste it above the script.js file. So you make sure it's above because our script.js will be depending on this link. So on this library, if you put it down, then the methods that we shall use in this library, they won't be seen or got. So we need to put this under this because it's a dependent let us cross that and then let us now focus on our script.js so the first thing that you have to do is let's say declare a variable let's say number and let's say we are going to set it to numero that's the library numero and then you pass in 1000 and then dot format the format method and this takes in a string put a zero and a com comma zero if we do console dot log number whoa sorry number let's see the output if we save as you can see this library will put the comma in the place that it's supposed to be right if we are to add another zero there on the number, then it will put 10,000 with a comma in the right place. You add another zero, it will understand where the comma is supposed to be. You add another zero, it will know that it's a million. I have to place two commas, right? So that's what you can use this numeral.js library for. Remember, there is also some van vanilla javascript way to go around this we have this international number format you can also check it out i have a tutorial it's right now popping up in the card section you can also use this method if you want to come around this right but just see this these are only two lines of code or even one line of code you just pass in the number of what you want format and get this can even play around with the other method that i told you let's say you have followers 
subscribers instead of putting these zeros on the number why not put an m right letter k and you can do that by passing in another option in this format method so instead of putting these zeros just put zero and a only that and they will remove these zeros and put m in the right place save this and you see they put one m right because it's one million if you want leave some space just space there save and they i guess i left some big space oh it just stabs a big space but that's it if you want to leave some space just stab so if it's 1k or 10k let's remove this for it it understands that this is 10k and put k in the right place i hope you guys are understanding me let's say 12k and then we want put a point let's say somewhere here say dot zero and this is what you'll be having hello point this that one let's say a number here and it will be like this hello point 5k and this is what the library is doing as it says a library of formatting and manipulating numbers and this is the live example that i can show you so i have some program here let me first refresh it what i did is i put it i put the number that they are looping through around this numeric library so and then passed in the format method and put this so when the user reaches 1000 followers then they will put a k instead of putting all those zeros and check it out right as you can see now when the moment the user reaches 1000 followers they now put a k and these numbers start incrementing in case right so that's the simple way you can use this library with if this tutorial was useful to you please subscribe to the channel like the video and i will see you in the next tutorials so this is the live example i also have this tutorial on the channel make sure you check it out